All right, everybody. So it's the last minute trip here to Banff, Alberta. Just uh, an hour away from our hotel, which is nice. We're uh, just under an hour out now. Beautiful mountains, world renowned. This is the, the Rocky Mountains here in Canada. And it's definitely worth it. We're gonna have a glance at them today, obviously, in this video here. And we'll spend some time in the town of Banff, do some stuff, do some uh, looking around in some of the different shops and whatnot. A little bit of a cloudy day, unfortunately, but still, you're going to be able to see these beauties in this video here, so I'm pumped. What a great way to spend the remainder of our day, Jose. I'm pumped. This is awesome. Oh, wow. Look at that, eh? Beautiful foothills before the mountains here. Green pastures. It's definitely a rolling drive. A lots, of, lots of ups and downs, as you can imagine. And then look, as we come around the corner of that foothill there, oh uh, yeah, the mountains. Well, uh, heading into Banff here in the rain, no question about it. <laughs> Perfect weather for a trip to Banff. Look at the rain coming down though, you can see the, the mountains just clinging onto the clouds. Truly unfortunate. Oh well, we, we got umbrellas and raincoats and a good spirit. So we've just entered into the Rocky Mountains here, only about halfway to Banff, so we got about half an hour to drive yet. And obviously as you get deeper in, the mountains get more mountainous, they get larger. Oh yeah, here we go, look at this beautiful shot right here. We missed it a little bit, we just came a da down a hill into this valley. Look at that mountain, it's a big one. So now we've made our way to uh, downtown Banff and beautiful mountains all around. Just a nice setting, a nice town for sure. Like it's all done with like rocks and brick and wood. Just, just like the ambiance of the town is, is really cool. Uh, there's a bunch of uh, patio dining happening right now. Fortunately, like, you can't really go into restaurants, so it's all in the patio. So it's, it's weird that everybody's just eating on the patios right on the street because all the restaurants have set up like temporary patios on the street, right? So it's pretty funny, obviously masks, you have to wear them on the street because it's pretty busy here right now. There's lots of tourists and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool though. Like it's just a great place to, uh, to come and hang out and enjoy, right? Just like in the downtown here. And everywhere you look, there's mountains, right? There's all sorts of shops here, like specialized in candy and craft beer and trinkets and knickknacks and souvenirs and stuff like that right too bad it's not a uh, blue sky day but oh well so are we gonna find somewhere to eat or what maybe not eat but maybe have a beer ski a enjoy seat. the uh enjoy the mountains oh you can hear the train there pretty cool there's like a couple of railways that run right through here yeah we'll probably find like a nice patio somewhere i've seen one on top of a roof over there that looks interesting let's check that out all right we found the place to be for sure well, let me tell you, I don't think we could have asked for a better spot today. Hi. Hey guys, how you doing? Might have to uh, bring Jose on a little carriage ride there. Look at the horsies. Pretty cool, eh? See, we still got a bunch of snow on the, the peaks on the mountains over there. I'm strongly considering a pair of these. I don't know which ones, but any of them will do. So here you gotta stay uh, one ski pole or one hockey stick apart from one another. So Jose, where should we head off to now? That mountain or that mountain? 
That one looks a little bit aggressive compared to the other. We're heading into cows. Guys, I'm filming with my phone right now. A little easier. Lots going on. Hey, take a look at this. Duck, duck, moose. Look what they have at the back of the store. A bunch of Lego. Who would have thought, eh? Finding the Lego in Banff. That's pretty cool. It's probably some like harder to find stuff here because I'd imagine they don't have a huge market for it. For example, what is that? Newt's case of magical creatures? Like, that must be a retired set. Well, obviously it is because we haven't seen anything like it in a long time. Pretty cool, eh? You can find Lego even here in Banff. Yeah, like I'm quite certain there's actually quite a bit of retired stuff here the further I look at it. But it's honestly not being offered at the best prices in the world. Uh, that uh, Fantastic Beast one over there was 95 Canadian dollars. Just a little bit pricey for what it is, I think. This, on the other hand, is a great find. Giant Flamingo. I, for one, love a good donut. Woo! You can't see it. Donut. Donut earmuffs. I hear earmuffs. Donut earmuffs. What's in your hand? <laughs> what else you got? It's like a donut. It's a keychain. Keychain. Cool. So many, it's so squishy. So many donuts. We're experiencing that weird mountain weather. Sun is just gleaming over here, and the clouds are just booming over here. That's it right there, the main street of Banff. Boom! Pretty awesome. All right, this is a really cool store. It's called The Spirit of Christmas. And it's 365, seven days a week, Christmas stuff. Pretty cool. Hey, there's a bear, look at him. Hey, hey there, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Christmas store. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Bear. I do appreciate that, nice mask. Great job. Jose's already in here, checking it out. She's looking at some ornaments and stuff over here. But they've just got like, a crazy amount of Christmas stuff. It's like two floors. It's it's glorious. The big tree there with all the ornaments on it. This big elf up here. Look at that. That's pretty cool. And you can come up to the second floor here. And we got all different ornaments over here. The elegant stuff, the doves. I'm pretty sure they have a whole Christmas village. Yep, they certainly do. All sorts of different Christmas village stuff right here. Holy cow. There's like Halloween stuff here. I guess you can stretch your Christmas village into Halloween if you truly wanted. <laughs> that is so cool. We recently got into doing Christmas Village stuff uh, just last year, I think. <laughs> this is so cool. Hey, Dairy Queen. <laughs> Don't get Jose back here because this is going to be a risky story. Hey, there's a moose. Hello there. Hi, how are you? Huh? Pretty sweet. Lots of stuff going on here in Banff, guys. So I'm just filming with my phone right now as we make our way through the Christmas store. Hey, look who it is. I know that guy. It's Will Ferrell. <laughs> More Christmas stuff over here, stuff for your winter village. Hey, it's the Grinch. A whole bunch of Grinches. Very cool. <laughs> who would have thought, eh, we'd be doing this in June? But it makes sense, you know, uh, people from around the world come to Banff and they uh, want to get a Christmas ornament. For example, like when we go to Disney World, every time we go, we get a new Christmas ornament. And then we can head downstairs here. 
Holy cow. Look at all the stuff down here too. Hey, look at this RCMP officer. It's a moose. <laughs> Pretty cool, more ornaments and stuff over here. And in general, oh, look at that, puzzles. Whoa, all sorts of Christmas themed puzzles, stuffed animals. Some pictures, and of course, more ornaments. Can you ever have enough Christmas ornaments for your Christmas tree? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, this place is so cool. I love the winding staircase. It is absolutely fantastic. All right, it's time to uh, test the zoom on this Samsung phone here. Whoa, whoa, look at those trees. It's a pretty cool looking mountain, isn't it? Whoa, whoa, look! There's a bear! Made you look. Gosh, I love this town. It's so, so awesome. So peaceful. So cute. Yeah, cute. Obviously right now it's like tourist season. But, uh, in the winter, clearly it's snowboard ski season. Because there's plenty of good ski resorts around here as well. Where'd the mountains go? They're gone. We got our umbrellas out because we came prepared. Pretty sweet. Oh, not really that sweet, I guess. That's what we call a classic Alberta flip-flop of the weather there. One minute it's raining. Next minute, it's beautiful. Got a latte. It's good. Well, everybody, I think we're done here in Banff. You know, mm -hmm. it's a beautiful patio. Had some food, saw some things, bought some things. Got some coffee. Jose got uh, an ornament from the Christmas store there, way two. out of season. I got two actually. Pretty crazy Christmas store there, and some great, some great stuff going down here in Banff, Alberta. Beautiful day. And you know, it's the best weather is right now. We fought through some rain. We fought through some clouds. Now we're gonna do the drive out of here, back to Calgary, and continue our little adventure here, eh? Mm -hmm. Tomorrow we're going to the zoo, so that's pretty sweet. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I, I didn't think that we were gonna come to Calgary. I'm oh, sorry, come to, uh, to BAM. <laughs> from Calgary. Uh, yeah, from Calgary. I didn't think that this was gonna happen, but I'm glad that it did because it's a beautiful day, and there's some great scenery here, and great, lots of people, busy, lots of great things going on, so, I mean, yeah, pretty awesome. <laughs> Yeah, remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned, right, Jose? Yeah, peace out, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.